Look at watch. Brittany Davis says she was scolded by a nurse for continuing to cry out while giving birth to her son in Ontario. Even after she received pain medication, she was stunned by what the nurse did next. She took a needle and stabbed me at least seven times up my leg to prove that my legs were numb. Why would you do that to someone? Like, yes, I can't feel my legs, but I can feel my contractions. Davis is one of dozens of women who've reached out to CBC News with examples of what they see as mistreatment and even abusive behavior by hospital staff during the birth of their children. What, sheepy? Jessica Irvin had her baby in New Brunswick earlier this year. She claims her doctor performed a painful vaginal exam while she was having a contraction, even leaving rings on under her gloves. She didn't remove any of them. She just put the glove on over top and was rough and forceful. I probably yelled stop at least five times. Samantha Powell gave birth to her son in Manitoba. It says she felt pressured into having a cesarean section against her wishes. It was flat out bullying um, and definitely I, I would call it abusive. Her story is especially striking because Powell is herself a labor and delivery nurse. The Society of Obstetricians and Gynecologists of Canada says there are nearly 400,000 births a year. And in the vast majority of those cases, women are helped by caring professionals. Still, CBC News has discovered hundreds of complaints have been filed with hospitals and health authorities over the past six years. Mistreatment uh, is very commonly not reported. Dana Weatherhead runs a group that advocates for women's rights in childbirth. It has been those silent tears where they get home and they, they just cope. Andrew Kotaska is an obstetrician in Yellowknife. He says healthcare workers want the best for their patients. We've come a long way in, in our understanding of uh, the importance of women's autonomy. Is there room for improvement? Always, of course. Samantha Powell believes that for too long, women felt they couldn't complain as long as their baby was healthy. You can be thrilled with your healthy, happy baby and absolutely devastated and traumatized by your birth experience. She has since had another child in a different hospital and says the experience was night and day. Diana Swain, CBC News, Toronto.